My first sip of wine was probably had before I can even remember, <laughs> but uh, wine was always a part of our lives. Uh, growing up and sitting around the kitchen table, um, my, my family always had wine. Uh, grandparents always had wine with lunch and dinner. Nobody over-consumed, but everybody did consume. Um, I do remember the first time I, I recall uh, wine being a very serious thing and the competitive nature of it when my dad was uh, tasting special selection against Insignia and Opus One and a number of the other you know, high-end wines. And I remember tasting and actually realizing at that moment how, how competitive this industry is, but at the same time, how diverse and how fun it can be. Wine has taught me the importance of agriculture and how we can take those characters from a specific site, uh, taking the soil and the climate together and conveying that message you know, through, through wine and holding that memory, I think, for a, a long period of time. I think agriculture is a very important part of what we do. And uh, there's a, a quote by uh, Senator Daniel Webster. Let's see, he starts off by, by say, talking about human civilization and whatnot and, and the importance of farming. Uh, but it comes down to uh, cultivation is the beginning of human civilization. And I think it's a very important part to, to look at and understand agriculture is a, a very important part of who we are as a society. My wine hero would be my dad. <laughs> so <laughs> I think he, uh, he had a, an instrumental part in really creating the style of Napa Cab that we all love today. Uh, he took that book of winemaking and threw it to the wind and tried some new things. And, uh, and I think, you know, very, uh, very appreciative for him to teach me everything that I've learned and to be a big part of uh, the industry as it is. The most exciting region for young or new winemakers today, in my interpretation, would be the Rogue Valley or the Umpqua Valley of Oregon. Southern Oregon has got a ton of potential. Uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay are thriving there, doing you know fantastic things, and uh, people are just scratching the surface and, and, and learning and understanding what these regions have to offer. I, I suppose the most unique way that I've opened a bottle of wine was uh, pounding the base of the bottle against a tree and slowly but surely made its way out. So <laughs> that may be the most unique, yeah. That's, you know, uh, when, when you're left with uh, you know, no other options, you find a way. Pushing the cork in is never the, the, the best. <laughs>